Welcome back. Let's take a look at tactics from last time. As evidently I made some mistakes. Perhaps I can learn from my mistakes. Also, it can be fun to watch other players' games on occasion and learn from their mistakes too. Um, so, I'm not the only person doing this sort of thing. Killer Ducky also plays mostly on Shogi Club 24 these days. And those games perhaps might be of greater interest than my own. But anyway, here was my game from last time. I picked one of these two moves, and the other move is the correct move. I mean, honestly, at this point, things look pretty desperate. Um, Rook takes Lance doesn't look bad. 7-8 Silver also doesn't look bad. I forget. I must have played Rook takes Lance. Because it's imperative here that I corner this king and not let it escape. This lance isn't going anywhere. The king might take the pawn and run into the corner. So I have to stop that. On the other hand, if the lance is right here, the lance is hanging. And I don't know. It seems hard to support this lance. But it only needs to be supported for a very short time for me to take the lance here and then checkmate there. So I'm guessing this is the right move. Yeah, got it right. Forgot to do my volume check, but there we go. Uh, in the game, I actually took the lance here. The opponent's king escapes, and there's no recovery. But is this any better? All right, so Shogi War suggests that he can drop a rook to try to pick off the lance. I was thinking that this bishop moves adjacent, or this bishop moves there, but the rook drop, sure. And then we take this, and we're threatening mate in one. And that mate also protects this pawn. So it's... Uh, oh, so they have to give up heavy material here. And it's kind of a fight still. Not saying that I would have, in extreme time pressure, managed this any better. But there are some chances with these moves, as opposed to the moves I played in the game. Alright, well, with that said, let's play some slower games today. I mean, last time we were playing 10-minute games, and 10-minute I think will be the pace we play today as well, and for some games into the future. I don't know if I'll continue the same video release schedule, but... Um, 10 minutes seems like a good interval to play. So let's give it a go. I still want to play Swinging Rook openings, but maybe I can talk myself into playing something different. Um, as Senta, I've always struggled with Swinging Rook openings. As Gota, I seem to perform really well, and I don't understand, like, what's up in my opening repertoire that produces this kind of effect or result. Good luck. Alright, Static Rook Left Hand Mino or something is what that said on the announcement. So that's a Static Rook opening. We definitely observe that. Um, hmm, Third Fall Rook, here we go. <laughs> okay. I don't remember all the theory here. I think this is reasonable. I think when I move the silver up too high, it makes greater threats, but also there's a lot of tactical shots on the bishop's head if the silver moves away. So I might also have time to adjust my rook over one more square. I don't know. All this is confusing to me. Almost invariably I'm losing a tempo or two the way I play it. Alright, but yeah, as their king dodges into the corner, I should follow suit. Many times I've not followed suit and been pretty badly burned. Um, so let's... Now, escaping too many moves toward the corner faster than the opponent really doesn't have any profit. 
having being one square away from the center more than the opponent mm -hmm. has value being multiple squares away from the center more than the opponent there's a diminishing return so i was prepared to play this once they played that but there's a diminishing return to building infinitely strong castles um this is curious Static Rook wants to exchange bishops, so I should want to avoid that somehow. Um, but where is my bishop going? This stuff always stumps me. Okay, we build this nice heavy castle to protect some important points. And if I had a pawn in hand, I could chase this immediately, but I don't. So I don't know what to do. Okay, my bishop is... Alright, all my pieces are connected in a reasonable way there. I could bring up the lance as well. Oh, that's an interesting move I've not seen before. Sure, let's bring up the lance. Um, hmm, our opponent's doing something aggressive. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that would be an aggressive shape for sure. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do here. I mean, this is a shape, but I don't think it's the one I need. I need to know more shapes. Really. Um, the fuck? <laughs> That's confusing, too. Um... I understand what they're waiting for. That's weird. That I did not expect. Okay. What's the deal? Have I fucked up somehow? The suspense is horrifying, you know? Hmm. 
I'm just a bit blind here. Um, I saw something. Go the thing me. that I saw doesn't work at all. Which means I have another problem. Yeah, so they can drop a pawn. Oh, they can also drop a bishop. I'm not so sure about this bishop drop. Getting socked in the face hurts a little bit. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Um, I have one pawn in hand. I thought I had two. Shit. So... What do we do now? Screw it. Caution to the wind, let's go. Alright. I'll take a bishop. This isn't anywhere near worth it, but let's pretend it is. Um, okay. They take some stuff, we take some stuff. Things happen. How bad can it be? I mean, this might be a mate threat for all I know. A lance might be a useful defensive piece. It's an optimistic outlook. Um. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's remove that. Let's say no to this dragon. And make some threats of our own, I guess. Maybe. This looks pretty horrible. Free knight. Interesting. I can't say no, can I? Unless I have a better threat. Alright, we're taking this. Yeah, that's a fork. Sure. Um... Nifun. How much are the pieces worth anyway? Does anybody know? Asking for a friend. <laughs> a friend might be me. Um, do I take this? Do I ignore it? Ippun Sanjubio. Uh 
Okay. 1分。Oh, I'm in time pressure, aren't I? All right. Yeah, I'm just getting rocked here. Sanjubio. Having to retreat like that sucks. But I don't see a mate. Any other direction? Um, Nijubio. Let's go. <laughs> Hope springs eternal. All right, hope might be dashed here in a second for a wide multitude of reasons. Jubio. All right, thanks for the game and the most predictable outcome ever. All right, one game down, two to go. Yep. So things slipped on the left side of the board and just completely collapsed. Good luck. Oh, that's fun. Oh shit, I forgot how this thing works. Alright, well, we've got another adventure on our hand, so buckle up. On the bright side, we got a file for the rook. <laughs> kind of. Not really. Uh, now this could be protected by their rook if I double up on it, so maybe that's not the right course of action. Maybe I should try to return the favor and see what happens. And see how you're supposed to play this. Ah, rook to the center. Interesting. Now this cuts off the lane for them to defend this with another piece. Then again, I could drop a lance in the center. They take my pawn. Oh, never mind. That's not so interesting after all. Um... Well, something happened this game, and more things are about to happen. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take that. Actually, no, let's not get my rook involved in this. There's no need to make things more painful for myself. Um... Hmm, Lance dropped their mind. No, no, I like my move. Wow. Shit. <laughs> that is committal. That is so committal. Um. Okay. Okay. 
So, uh, how's that opening? Something might be happening here. Uh huh. Okay. Do I drop lance or silver gold takes 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 king takes? I win all the pieces, but that's not mate. If I take here, king out, take the gold, king out again. I don't know, man. Winning all the pieces, I lose the silver. So it's not a complete victory, and I'm giving up a silver to do it. All right, well, let's try this. They're not going to take this, right? It would be bold to, like, expose no, no. my bishop this way. Um... Alright, my bishop is active. My check is blocked. Hmm... This is a mess. All right, let's protect my king. I don't see what they can do with the tempo. But defending my own king seems somehow meritorious. Mm-hmm. Gofun. I mismeasured this bishop advance. Um...
Hmm. Wow. Who knew that I just had to ask nicely for things to happen? All right, screw it. Let's try this. Well, I've removed my opponent's most threatening piece. It's back. Nifun. What a mess.
1分20秒。I've lost. Jubio. Thanks for the game. I need to practice my checkmates. But who didn't know that? Alright, two down, one to go. That was a weird opening, wasn't it? Maybe next time I'll play better. Good luck. Alright, we're not playing swinging rook three games in a row as Gota, and losing all three games exactly the same way. We're not going to do the same thing all three games. So this game, we're going to play static rook, come hell or high water, and it's going to work out. <laughs> That's the plan. That said, I don't know this so well, so we'll see how it just how well it goes. Um, okay.
I didn't read, like, what if they drop a bishop here? Perhaps I should have read that out. I'm playing on emotion here after two challenging games. One can imagine why I'm playing quickly and emotionally or emotively. Um, it doesn't take a grand imagination. Still, it's not in my best interest to pace myself this way either. This bishop drop, I guess, is also possible. I don't understand it. If silver takes, I have a bishop drop back here, and I retreat, and then now I've got a powered-up bishop. Which can actually just go directly back and harass the rook again. So, that's one possibility. I could also drop a silver here and take the knight. But then the knight runs, and I can't take it anymore. So let's go back. Got our horse. Got a silver drop threat in front that makes additional threats. And I don't see what the opponent's doing. So maybe I should be happy. Maybe I shouldn't. Um... If I take that and then drop here again, where are we going? I kind of have to... T well... Yeah, I think this is necessary. It's spooky, but... Um, it opens a huge hole where I would not really like an, a hole opened. That said, I don't see a tactical flaw with it. Just a strategic one. So the impetus is certainly on the opponent to find something quite urgently here. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it. I mean, I guess that works. If I run away, they can drop a bishop and take some pieces in a corner. If I run toward the corner, they drop a bishop back here. If I run back, they don't have anything. Okay, so back we go. Okay, then we take a bishop. We all make mistakes. Um, I've made mistakes in the first two games. It's human nature to make mistakes. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, that was exciting, wasn't it? Uh... Oh, I hope that they do well their next game. Uh, it's not easy playing late at night. Anyway, hope we enjoyed. Thanks for the games. See you next time.